Okay, come. We we'll start. In Isaiah 40, verse 3. I'm going to read this as an invitation to worship. The voice of one calling in the desert, prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the wilderness a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed. And all mankind together will see it. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. And God Almighty, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. This morning, Lord, we want to prepare a way for you. In the wilderness of our hearts, we say, come. Come and take your place. We say, come Holy Spirit and raise up every valley and bring down every mountain. Level the rough ground and smoothen the rough places. Let your glory be revealed in this time, in this place. Let your glory be revealed through us to those around us. But as we come before you, we, we come under the blood of the Lamb. Come to seek your face, to draw close to you. Lord, we surrender this time into your hands. In Jesus' name. Amen.
Jesus, today as we come into your presence, Lord, as you wake us up to this new day and your plans and purposes for it and for the coming week and and for our lives, Lord, um, what a joy it is just to be able to bow our heads and our hearts and to lift our voices today, Lord, to praise you. Uh, We know, Lord, that our praise is pleasing to you. And it is a joy today, Lord, to honor you with our praise. And thank you, Lord, that our praise is a highway to um, whatever it is, Lord, that you want to do. It's a highway to your throne. It's a highway to whatever this move of God is in this current time. So, Father, we lift our voices and we lift our hearts and we just say to you, Holy Spirit, come, have your way in us, have your way in everything in our lives, in our fellowship. Just want to to love you today. I pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus, and this morning, Lord, we we really say, Lord, that you are our song, Lord. You are our breath, you are our life. You are our hope and our joy, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we come into your presence, Lord, to hear you singing over us, Lord. To hear your countless songs of love, your songs of promises, Lord, that you're just singing over us right now, Lord. And we just, Lord, just open the ears of our hearts, our minds. Holy Spirit, open our entire beings that we may hear these songs, Lord, this morning. Hear hear the songs you're singing so specifically to each one of us, Lord, and to us as a body, Lord, your songs of love. Pour, Lord, pour your love into our hearts this morning, Lord. Let your love just permeate every part of our being, Lord, each one of us individually and the very being of Highway, Lord. But truly, Lord, as you have said, Jesus, we will be known, Lord, by our love. Our love for you and each other. Come, Holy Spirit, just pour into us this morning, Lord. In your precious and beautiful, loving name, Jesus, we just thank you and pray. Amen.
your presence, Holy Spirit. We ask some all of you not to be immersed in, not to soak in your presence, not to be lost in you, Lord Jesus. Pour out your love and power of flesh, we pray this morning. Hungry and we're thirsty, we're desperate for you. In Jesus' name, Amen.
the mother when we sing Baptist the girls dream and both those dreams when we pray Father, we just want to thank you. And we to thank you, Lord God, for your presence. We want to thank you for this privilege of praising you, Lord, and all that you will do as we praise you, Lord. Pray, Lord God, that you will let free the captives and let the chains go as we praise you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Uh, that as we were worshipping just that passage of uh, Ezekiel and the dry bones and uh, God breathing in life or God telling you to breathe and breathing in life into the dry bones and just felt that God was doing that with us individually, those dead and dry parts of our lives but also breathing new life into the dry bones in, our, in the body. Lord, we just want to thank you for your tangible presence that is here, Lord. We're just so grateful that when we praise you, you, you come, Lord, you draw near to us. We just want to take you, Lord, at your word, that your resurrection power is here. And so in the mighty name of Jesus, I speak healing to those who are sick and need of a healing touch in mind, in heart, in body, in spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak life into dead places. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak freedom from bondage and captivity. May the resurrection power of Jesus flow through every part of his body today. In Jesus' name, Amen. garments of praise.
Bible, your word is there that your grace is sufficient for us and your strength is made perfect in our weakness, Lord. Father, we come to you, uh, worship you in spirit and truth. Lord, we give you permission to search our innermost being, Lord. Some of us are struggling with real areas of weaknesses, disappointments. Holy Spirit, we want to invite you into those places. We want to rest in you. We want to rest in your strength. We want to rest in your presence, Lord. Because your promise is that your joy will be our strength. You yourself are our strength, Jesus. Lord, we want, to, we want to lay aside, try to fix ourselves, trying to get it right. We want to surrender to you, Lord. We want to receive your love for us in greater and deeper measure, Lord Jesus. Your love is so powerful, Lord, and you have invited us to come to you. You've invited us to come and, uh, before your throne of grace, where we might find mercy. And so here we are, Lord. Here we are to worship you. Here we are to receive from you, Lord. We want to trade our own sorrows for your joy. Thank you for always being so available, Jesus. We love you. Amen. Thank you. 
spelled out I can't see And every breath is my offering My heart cries, these floods say over you My worthy king Incredible privilege that we get to worship him now and for all eternity. Actually, everything we're doing now is just the start of an eternity with him. I feel so strongly that God is saying that he's worthy and we know he's worthy. We've just sung it. He's worthy of all our worship. He's worthy of a lifetime of our worship. He's 
دیواری یا فرباشت پر آلی درنه دیگه Okay, even today God is saying, Jesus is saying, come to me. He revealed his love on the cross. He wants to pour his love into your heart through the Holy Spirit. All we need to do is come. Even today God is speaking to anyone who's not made that step, has taken that step, has just said that word yes to Jesus. And I want to encourage us that we don't do it from a place of holiness, we don't do it from a place of purity. We do it from a place of utter weakness, utter unworthiness. Just responding to his love. I encourage you even today, right now, to take that step to say that word. For God so loved the world. For God so loved you and me. For God so loved every single person who ever lived. That he gave his only son. that those who believe in Him would not perish but have eternal life. And so on the night that He was betrayed, Jesus took bread. He broke it and gave it to His disciples and He said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of Me. And after supper he took the cup and he said this cup is the blood of the new covenant that I make with you and with many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. We want to remember his love and we want to respond to his love. Giving our hearts to him maybe for the first time, maybe afresh this morning. Say, come Lord Jesus, come and take your place. Come and be enthroned in our hearts. Come and have your way. As we eat and drink, we want to receive His love afresh, we want to receive His power afresh. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now I said I want to give time for people to respond uh, to what we've heard. So you can, as many as want to, can just pray in response if you like to. Lord, I just confess that when I hear talks like this, I know your spirit stirs me and I do feel convicted. But I ask, Lord, that whatever you have imparted, a sense of urgency will remain with me and with each one watching. I just recognize, Lord, only your spirit can do a deep and lasting work. And I pray, Lord, that even as you hear the cries of your children, we will hear the cries of people around the globe crying for bread, crying in lostness and blindness. And that my heart will, Lord, forever be changed, broken, soft, sensitive, 
feeling Lord your your pain and Lord your desire I ask this in your name Jesus Lord, we thank you that you have put plans in uh, motion many generations, Lord, before us. And we thank you today for that cloud of witnesses who has gone before us, all of those who have labored and suffered. Um, especially we thank you, Lord, for all the missionaries around the world, and especially in India, who have given of their best, who have perhaps lost their lives, who are buried here, Lord, who have run fast and hard. Uh, in your service today. Lord, we ask that we may carry on that work, that may, we may also run hard and fast, and we may labor without ceasing. We pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Father, I just want to confess, Lord, that though we know, Lord, that you desire, Lord, us to go out and just talk, Jesus, Lord, to each person who we meet, Lord. So often, Lord, we hesitate and so often, Lord, we let that moment pass, Lord. But we know, Lord, that you have plans, Lord, and when we just sit back and I confess, Lord, so often that I have sat back, Lord, but you always have a second person, Lord, to stand in the gap, Lord. We just pray, Lord, at this moment, Lord, that even as we know, Lord, that the night is coming, Lord, that the time is going fast, Lord, and that, Lord, there is an urgency that all people come, Lord, to know you. There is an urgency, Lord, for this generation lord to just know who is god to love you to accept you lord we just i just confess lord to my apathy my lack of my lack in sharing you lord with others lord of letting opportunities pass lord and lord we pray lord that you will really convict each one of us lord to be bold for you, to go out, Lord, and to seize every opportunity, Lord, to share you, to pray for others, Lord, to be compassionate and loving and at the same time humble, Lord, so that, Lord, we enable you to work through us, Lord, to bring people, Lord, to bring your lost sheep, Lord, into the fold, Lord. We just ask, Lord, for your Holy Spirit to help us and to convict us each time, Lord, we have drawn back, Lord. And, Lord, we just pray, Lord, that really, Father, that you will just ignite a fire within us, Lord, to serve you, to be your servants, to be your vessel, to carry your word, to carry you wherever we go. We just ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord Jesus, we just want to say thank you, Lord, for in our own community, Lord, for those who have labored through the years, Lord, in prayer. Lord, I thank you for just Rudhay and Anila and people like Shanti and Carol and Anne and Vinod and others, Lord, who were just only one or two or sometimes three gathering in the mornings in All Saints to pray all these years, Lord. And Lord, we just thank you because today our generation has this open window of favor and just uh, so much, Lord, opportunity to go, Lord God, and to do so many different creative things to spread your word. But I just thank you, Lord, that none of them gave up and just stopped praying. I just thank you that even though uh, you sent then Anila, Lord, to with the vision of revival, Lord, and, and yet they have not seen the fullness 
of what you have put on their hearts, Lord, yet they have not given up on that vision, on that dream, on just pressing forward through all of this, Lord. We just thank you for that grace that you have put on them because if it was not for them, Lord, we would not have known about revival, Lord. We would not have heard about something like this. And we just thank you, Lord. We thank you for every way in which you have used each and every one of them and even those whose names I don't remember, but have really labored and put so much of their own, just invested their time and heart into this prayer, Lord, for so many years. Lord, we thank you for that, Lord. And Lord, when we look at our lives, we just know that we're not selling everything and going off on boats and just to get your word out, Lord. But Lord, I pray that even as we feel in our heart, stirred and convicted, Lord, that we would be willing to let go of our comfort, let go of our very uh, easy lives, Lord, to reach out to wherever you want to send us and to do the task that you have already assigned for us to do, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, that we were born in this generation, in this lifetime, where you have orchestrated things in such a beautiful way, Lord. And we do, in a sense, have it easy or easier than many who have gone before us, Lord. But Lord, I pray that we would just be willing to even risk everything to love people and that many, many, many people would give their hearts and lives to you, Lord. And just as Reinhard Bonnke would say, to see hell empty and heaven full, Lord, let that be the challenge on our hearts for you have called us, Lord, to this. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We love you and we bless you, Lord. In your name I pray. Amen. I'm going to read what uh, Leslie said on Facebook. Lord, show us what it means to give our all. Show us what it means for each one of us individually and as a body to press forward, run the race and push harder. In our lives, reveal the areas and opportunities we have to spread your gospel. In Jesus' name, Amen. Father, we also want to come today and we want to remember all the lives, Lord, the, the grain that has, uh, Lord, uh, died in our land. We remember people like William Carey, Amy, Mike, uh, Amy Carmichael, and many of our own missionaries, Lord, who sacrificed their lives in different corners of our country, in places like Bihar and Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, West Bengal. And we want to pray that their lives will not be in vain. And we pray, Father God, for the legacy that they've left, for the vision they had. And we just pray, Lord, that we will see that same harvest in our own land, Lord. We'll see lives turned, lives challenged, uh, not only in remote areas, but also in cities, Lord. Uh, we pray that at this point of time, Lord, at this window that you've given each one of us, Lord, in our very own calling, in our very own places where you've placed us, Lord, I pray that you will, Lord, burn in us, Holy Spirit, and uh, just help us to be sensitive, to those you want us to reach. Holy Spirit, clear our minds from voices. Just let us hear your still small voice, Heavenly Father, each time you prompt us. We want to thank you, Lord, for your working and you're the Lord of the harvest. Just help us to follow your leading. In Jesus' name. Amen.
Okay, uh, and Jesus, uh, my prayer and possibly the prayer of others here is that uh, there are lots of uh, things we don't understand and lots of questions we have and uh, many areas in which we are confused. But uh, putting those aside, if there's something amazing that you're doing right now and something uh, cool that you have planned, uh, uh, we want to be a part of it. So please show us uh, what you're doing and what we can do and please help us do it. In Jesus' name, Amen. Lord, we pray you will uh, capture our hearts, Lord, with what is on your heart to work while it is day, to pour ourselves out while it is day, or to grab hold of this opportunity to step through this door, this window that you're giving us. But we've spoken many times that we don't want to miss out when your presence is poured out, when revival comes. But we want to say we don't want to miss out even on this harvest. We don't want to miss out on this window of opportunity to work, to be poured out for you, to give our lives, to see the lost coming. We confess our weakness. We confess, Lord, that too often the spirit is willing, the flesh is weak. So we say, Holy Spirit, come, seal these words, captivate our hearts, come and do a new work in us. Right now we pray. That we may respond to what you have convicted us of. Holy Spirit, raise up a new generation, we pray. Filled with the Spirit, passionate for you and willing to lay down our lives. In Jesus' name.
Holy Spirit, we pour out afresh, we pray. We pray for the fresh oil of the Spirit to be poured out, to fill us, to soak us, to drench us. Spit lay a coat of our hearts, we pray. Truly, Lord, we want to catch the wind of the Spirit in the season. love and more of your power. To be your workers in the harvest field. To be your laborers.
butterfly If I drive on To get a new song For the glory To the butterfly For the glory To the butterfly ask you to possess us with your radical love, Lord. Lord, even as we open up our hearts and our hands to receive your great and radical love, Lord. Lord, we have no use to the world around us, Lord, unless we are possessed completely by your radical love, Lord. Lord, even as we sing, Lord, fill us, Lord Jesus, with your love so that we would be moved as we go out into the world, Lord Jesus, compassionate as you were, with your heart going out, Lord, for the lost. Lord, unless we are completely possessed by your love, Lord, the world can't know your great love, Lord Jesus. So we ask, Lord, for a fresh and filling of your love. We want to be completely overtaken by it. And everything we do may be motivated by this amazing, radical love. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We believe, Lord, truly yeah. that revival is in the air. We pray, Lord, for every member of Highway, Lord. Pray for us as a church. Everyone who's been part of this wider fellowship, Lord, I pray that each one of us to catch the wind of your spirit, to be propelled, to be caught in the flood of what you are doing. We pray this in Jesus' name.